OMAD versus ADF, which is better? Who? Okay, so for long term weight loss, I think OMAD is better because you cannot do alternate day fasting for a year. It's really hard to do. I don't think anyone can do that. Alternate day fasting is more of a short term kind of like tool to use to help get your weight loss going, to help kick things in gear. Whereas OMAD, I have been consistently doing it for almost a year, easily. You can fast for 20 hours or more daily. So when it comes to the long-term weight loss, I think OMAD is great. When it comes to short-term weight loss, I think combining OMAD with ADF is great. Now let me explain. I believe the rules of alternate day fasting is that you basically eat every other day. So when you eat every other day, one day you're fasting, the next day you're eating throughout the day. Now I was told, or from what I've heard, is that you're supposed to double up on your calories on the days that you don't eat. I guess that is, I mean, that the days that you do eat, I guess that's a method to kind of make ADF longer. Someone asked me this on a live stream, the last live stream. Personally, I don't do that when I have alternate day fasted. So basically for me, that's doing back to back 48 hour fasts. I never double up because the point is weight loss. I believe alternate day fasting is kind of a hack to get in a prolonged fast with a break in it. Cause it's really hard. Like there's a lot of people I can, the longest fast I've ever done was a 72 hour fast. There are people out there who can fast very long. I cannot do that. So I feel like ADF is like a modified version of an extended fast. So in that case, if you're gonna view it that way, because the reason why people drop or the, oh, well, my brain just completely left, but going back, the purpose of fasting, sorry about that guys, just malfunctioning up there, is to get in the benefits of fasting. So I personally don't believe in making up the calories. I don't because at the end of the day, you wanna put yourself in a calorie deficit as much as possible. Possible. And the key to fasting, I always, I've said this before, like when I did my ADF, my alternate day dry fasting, the key to fasting is that when you lose weight with the fast, you wanna keep it off. So I believe doubling up on the calories is not gonna let you keep that weight off. The point is you wanna keep that weight off and then you wanna drop weight the next day. So when I was doing my little alternate day dry fasting routine. I'm going to use my most recent one, which was in May. I did an alternate day dry fast. You don't have to do a dry fast. I did it for medical reasons to help speed up healing. So I would fast for 48 hours and then I would combine it with OMAD because I would have a small meal within an hour eating window, whether it be like a 1200 calorie meal. I would weigh myself before, after fasting for 48 hours, have my small meal, and then I would wake up the next day and the scale will be lighter on the day before. And that's what I want. I want to speed up weight loss. So I think personally, using ADF as a tool, it's great if you do it in a way that you're not doubling up your calories. To me, that does not make any sense. The point of fasting is to fast. Now, if you're gonna use ADF as a tool to lose weight, there is modified ADF, and I do like that for weight loss. Modified ADF is basically on the days that you're fasting, which is not really fasting, you're just really reducing your calories, you're gonna be eating between 500 and 800 calories. Some people say five. Um, Dr. Michael Mosley is the one who talked about the 500 fast, the fast diet, and he has now brought that to eight because he says eight is a little bit more sustainable for people. So you're eating between 500 and 800 calories on your fast day. That is great for weight loss, but if you're fasting for the purposes of healing, which is why I fast. I fast for weight, for healing. I use eating in the kitchen as a tool to lose weight. I always say that. Weight loss happens in the kitchen, fasting's for healing. Of course, there is fast, there's weight loss with fasting, but fasting is not a tool I strictly depend on for weight loss. And when I say fasting, I mean prolonged fasting. So anything that's 24 hours and above, I'm not talking about intermittent fasting, which is basically one meal a day. Oh my. When I fast, I fast to heal. I'm a big fan of Dr. Mindy Pals. I've been watching her work since day one. I have a lot of things I want to heal. I want to correct my blood sugars. I want to get rid of my fatty liver. I did check it last year. My fatty liver was still there. I have not checked it 
since I got down to my lowest weight of 169. I've not checked it recently. I want to do it again. I use fasting to heal. So the purpose of fasting is to not eat. So if I'm going to do a fast for healing, so if I'm going to do an ADF fast, I am not going to eat for that period of the day. I'm not going to do a modified fast where I have less calories because I want that fasting. Because when you trigger your body into fasting, it goes into healing mode. It goes into autophagy. It goes into um, regenerating your stem cells for a 72 hour fast. It goes into gut health resetting 24 hours or more. It goes into dopamine resetting and serotonin bo boosting. And you're increasing GABA, which is a neurotransmitter that helps to reduce anxiety and calm. I want all those things for fasting. So if I'm going to do a fast, it's only salt water or dry, no coffee. Like, I do a fast for that specific reason. So now let's go, let's go back on topic here. So that's what I believe. For long-term weight loss, OMAD. For short-term weight loss, EDF with OMAD. I don't like the idea of doubling up. <sighs> with OMAD though, what I love about OMAD personally, like EDF is a tool I will throw in every three to four months because I view EDF as an extended fast. I view it as that because the way I do it, I do it like the full day i don't do it the 36 hours the breakfast um because the reason why i don't do it that way because i don't trust myself remember i'm recovering from bed so if i go on fast for a full, a full day and then the next day i wake up and i start eating in the morning for me personally i know this where this will lead it will lead to me wanting to eat a lot and it can lead to binging that's why i like to throw in omad with the edf fast because Every time I do an extended fast, I break my fast in the evening always to prevent the overeating, to prevent the temptation. I love it. Do it that way because basically I eat my meal. I'm satisfied and I go to bed. I'm fasting in my sleep. I wake up and I see more weight loss. If I'm going to use fasting, it's going to be a tool to maximize weight loss, intermittent fasting, or if I'm using ADF fasting for weight loss, which I generally, if I'm going to fast, I do it for healing reasons. I like to be able, because the rule is with fasting, I think I said this earlier, if you are going to do a fast and you gain weight after your fast, your fast doesn't count because you gained weight. You want to be able to keep that weight off. Minus dry fasting, of course, because with dry fasting, you're obviously going to put on some weight because you're dry fasting to the point where you don't have any water. Like you're redepleting yourself of water. Your body's being smart and getting rid of all the water in itself. So um, with dry fasting, when I did it, I ended the fast, got down to 169. And then I, um, when I ended, when I broke the fast and I did the water, I only went up a pound. I was sitting around 172 pounds, 170 to 171. Like that's expected. And then after the dry fast, my weight just held. That's why I want to do another day, dry fast. I really do. But right now we're, we're not focusing on that. Now going about with OMAD, um, when it comes to long-term sustainable weight loss with OMAD, um, the thing is with OMAD versus ADF is that OMAD, you're getting a meal daily. And with OMAD, you can exercise. When you're doing alternate day fasting, the real one, and not the, um, what do you call it? Not the modified one. I don't recommend anyone exercising during a day that they're fasting and not eating. No way. Do not exercise fasted. It is not. If you are going to get a meal that day, then exercise. But with EDF, I love working out. I enjoy working out. I enjoy the feeling of feeling sore. My muscles are sore right now. I'm building my back right now and my arms because my legs need to take a break because of the knee. With EDF, it limits my ability to exercise. And I love to exercise. Whereas with OMAD, I'm able to exercise. Even though I can't exercise to a point that's super intense, at least I'm able to exercise. Now, when it comes to losing weight, you want to lose weight in a way that you are going to use tools that you're forever going to use. You want to be able to exercise consistently. You want to be able to learn how to count your calories. You cannot fast forever. So that's my, my mentality with that. So I had, you can eat in a four hour eating window and at the end for months, yeah, that's another thing. You can eat in a four hour eating window for months, whereas you can't alternate day fast for months on end. You can't do that. It's just too much. It's more of a short term thing. The longest I've ever seen someone do it, and that was intermittent fasting foodie, she did it for a month. 
she did alternate day fasting for a month. And that's pretty intense. Um, with, yeah, with ADF, you cannot sustainably do it for a long time. I said that. OMAD, you can exercise and you get in food daily. That's what I love about it. Um, true ADF fasting, you don't get food for 36 to 48 hours. And yeah, I explained that earlier. The way I do alternate day fasting, I just like to do two 48 hours back to back. But that being said, I do like ADF. In terms of dropping weight, you will drop weight quicker with ADF obviously, because you're in a calorie deficit longer. If you're doing ADF the way I talk about it, which is like the ADF OMAD, you're fasting for however long, it will probably be around 40 to 45, 46 hours, 48. You're doing a full day fast and you break your fast in the evening and then you have a small meal or you have your OMAD meal or you have your calories within an hour eating window where it would be 1200 calories or more, you will definitely lose weight faster in that method. Doing it that way, um, of course, because you're in a calorie deficit longer. But OMAD, you won't lose as much weight quickly. However, over time, you can sustainably do it longer. So it's a great tool to kickstart yourself into weight loss. Both of them are. And I do love them both. However, I must say, I want people to be able to lose the weight and keep it off. You'll see this transform in my journey. Also with OMAD, you cannot do OMAD forever indefinitely and like consistently you cannot do it like forever for years and years on end so you want to be able to learn how to transition off of OMAD in a way that you can learn how to keep the weight off a great version of that is too mad morning evening because then you're getting the calories morning evening that's for a different story right now we're focusing on weight loss but I do believe in the power of learning how to use multiple tools learning how to eat on the day and still lose the weight. That's so important. You have to learn how to do it. And I was talking about this here. I say I believe in metabolic flexibility. You want to have the power to be able to be in ketosis and lose weight and not be in ketosis and lose weight. You want to be able to be in the power of lose weight with OMAD and not and being and not being in OMAD and losing weight. You want to have that power. Because the reason why is that people get off these routines, whether it be ADF or OMAD or like keto, they get off and then they gain a bunch of weight because they don't know how to properly diet. And properly diet is knowing how to manipulate the scale to your desired result. And for most of us, it's usually down. So to learn how to properly diet, you gotta learn how to count your calories. You gotta learn how to read scale feedback. You have to learn to learn how to be able to balance the days of, hey, it's summer, I wanna go out with my friends and maybe not count calories, calories this day but maybe the next few days I will. It's all about learning balance. It's all about learning how to keep that scale under control. That's what learning how to diet is. And I want people to learn how to do that. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching that little throwback video. Sorry, I don't have time to do a live stream today. I'm actually going out with my friend in like 20 minutes. So I thought I would take my most popular live stream, cut it up and put it into a video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys tomorrow. If you made it this far into the video, just drop in the word circle because there's a circle in the background on my Google Chromecast. And I'm sending you guys mad love. Take care. Bye.